Hi, welcome to another Philball Photography video. And this one I'm going to do a little Adobe After Effects. Uh, I've got a little bit of footage here um, from some uh, car work that I did once and I wanted to try to add in some sort of camera buzzing, shaking and um, just kind of a, an interruption to the video that might time with some music or something dramatic. Uh, it's kind of a fairly typical Top Gear type effect. Uh, and uh, it took me a little while to figure out a nice way to do it. Um, but uh, but I, I worked it out and I thought I'd share it with everybody. So uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you need to copy your um, your layer into two, and um, and then go ahead and open them up. And we need to pick some <clears throat> need to pick some keyframes in the video here where we want to start the effect. Uh, somewhere about here is good. And um, and then what I do is I create some keyframes for position and then uh, I move on to where the effect's going to get bigger some fraction of a second it's not doesn't doesn't take very long you don't want to dwell on this um, and then slide one layer one way and one layer the other way still leaving some room around the composition because I'm going to have some camera shake thrown on top of that and then uh, I only use two frames to throw it all back together again um, so I put that top layer roughly back to where it was let's call it 640 and um, I move the bottom layer back to the exact same spot and um, you'll probably notice this doesn't mean much until I drop the opacity of that top layer down to 50% there we go so uh, now as you uh, scroll through it you can see they sort of split and then remerge real quick Right, so that's that. Um, <clears throat> the clever part, though, is to add on top of that, make those 3D layers, by the way, um, and then add on top of that a camera layer. So you go layer new camera. Uh, the, the default settings have always been okay for me. Um, and then uh, I want to be viewing with that camera one. I suppose active camera is the same thing. Um, but then. Uh, then what I need to do is introduce my camera shake. Uh, I can open one of these layers so I can see where the keyframes are. Uh, right about here, before the before the split occurs, I would start doing some camera shake. And so, with that, you use the tracking tool for the for the camera. In fact, I'm going to open up the camera transform layers and start some keyframes here for position and point of interest. All right, so that's that's where you start out and then every two frames I'm gonna drag these over and make a new keyframe and it starts off pretty small and then I get a bit more dramatic with the shake There's one final ingredient uh, for me to use as well, which is motion blur. I'll turn that on in a second, and that'll help sort of sell the effect, as it were. And then we'll render it and take a look at what we got. <clears throat> 